Today's rant is on radio and television personality Howard Stern, known for his popular radio show, The Howard Stern Show. This guy is an a ho. Of course, we know he did Selena's music, talking about Alvin and the Chipmunks have more soul, Spanish people have the worst taste in music not having no depth while gunshots are being fired when her music was being played on the same day of her funeral when he did this. At least he apologized whether he truly was sorry or not. He and his sidekick partner in crime, Robin, who I also can't stand either, always laughing with Stern and they bashed Amy Winehouse, especially her beehive hairdo. Like they saw the talent in Amy Winehouse, but they just couldn't get past her behind hairdo. They didn't even know what it was, guessing it was a wig, rat's nest. Stern says she wouldn't be so bad looking if it wasn't for her hairdo, and Robin thinks she's bad looking overall. Amy is not ugly. She's a Jewish cutie. She's more attractive than you, Robin. Gag me with a spoon. Who do you guys think is more attractive, Amy or Robin? They made jokes about her rehab song saying they try to make her go to rehab, but she said no, no, no. Well, she did go to rehab before she passed. It was too late because of all the alcohol and her tiny little body was just too much. Next, Howard Stern, for some reason, has some kind of hatred for Michael Jackson. I don't know why he despises him so much. And he's obviously one of these people where he believes, he truly believes that Michael Jackson was weird and a freak. And he honestly possibly believes that he child molested that little boy. He honestly believes that he was a pedophile. And he probably believes the media and it's like dude you can't believe everything the media says just because the media says this and that doesn't mean they know what they're talking about the media don't know crap how about you i don't know think for yourself get your own proof and evidence about if michael jackson was a pedophile or not the dude wasn't a pedophile okay he wasn't he wasn't some freak or weirdo people claim to think he was Anyways, he definitely tr shows his true hatred for Michael Jackson uh, when he found out about MJ pranking a homeless man, throwing water balloons at him for fun, since Michael enjoyed pranks. Stern didn't like it because 20 to 25 percent of homeless people are mentally ill. So I get where he's coming from, but it was just for fun. I'm sure it wasn't Michael's intent to do it on purpose. Who's to say? Maybe the um, homeless person that he threw water balloons at probably wasn't mentally ill. We don't know. Maybe he wasn't mentally ill. Who's to say? We weren't there. Dude, you were just so hard on him. It was so annoying when he kept doing Michael impressions when saying, Back it up, Kato. And then Stern threatening him, talking about um, if he ever thought of throwing water balloons at him, he would rip his uh, wig off and bust whatever is left of his nose. Stern didn't give a crap about him having a hard time sleeping, and he told MJ to F off, calling him a freak. He truly can't stand him, and he obviously had no sympathy on the day he died. He was like, good riddance. And here comes Robin saying, he was a miserable man. I have no sympathy for such a miserable man. Robin, you're a miserable woman for thinking he was such a miserable man. God, I know Michael Jackson was rolling and crying in his grave due to the disturbance of Howard Stern and Robin bashing him for the prank he did on a homeless man. Good grief. It ain't talking about I don't care if you didn't have a childhood. No one had a childhood. What are you talking about, Howard Stern? Everyone has a childhood. You had a childhood, but apparently your childhood wasn't so great. I can tell b because of your hatred of Michael Jackson. I mean, if you had a great childhood, you wouldn't be bashing this dude. Sounds like your childhood wasn't all that great. You need to understand that Michael Jackson did not have a childhood. 
He wasn't able to do things that regular kids are supposed to do, enjoy being a child. So he figured he bring that back by feeling like a kid at heart and showing his love for kids. And, you know, that's why he had Graceland, so the kids can come and play and sleep like a little sleepover. But apparently you couldn't see that. Apparently you couldn't see the way he did because you probably thought you'd be considered a freak. I can't stand this slinky earthworm gym, the Slim Reaper. I wear my sunglasses at night. Look at mofo. My goodness. He talks about the bronies. Howard Stern has a problem with bronies. He pretty much assumes that all bronies who still lives with their parents have no jobs and don't have girlfriends. Okay, you can't assume that all bronies don't have girlfriends and don't have jobs. Okay, are there people out there judging Pegasisters, assuming that they still live with their parents, have no jobs, and don't have boyfriends? Why is it got to be the bronies? Why? Because they're males? Okay, I, I get that My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is targeted towards the little girl's audience. But that doesn't mean that all ages can't watch My Little Pony Friendships of Magic. Little kids, teenagers, adults can watch the show. And I'm sure Lauren Faust pretty much targeted the show for everyone to watch. See, like this one guy is 27 years old. He says right now he just don't have enough money to have his own apartment to move out of his parents' house. But it's like Howard Stern and Robin don't believe him. Like he's, he's just talking out of his ass. How much uh, My Little Pony memorabilia? Poor parents have got like a kid living in the basement. He's, he's a man and he's into My Little Pony. Do you have in your collection? Counting pictures, 27,000. Now where do you store most of your My Little Pony collectibles? I hide it away in my room until it's a bit more uh, mainstream. Now why, why do you hide it away? Uh, because uh, they already think I'm... Most of my family think I'm weird already. It's hard to explain my to my rest of my friends and family that it's and actually good when they still see it's kids show. Uh, I'm curious to know how old are you? Twenty-seven. And you currently live with your parents? Yeah. Uh, market's tight. I can't find an apartment. The market's my own. tight. The market's tight. Is your father proud of you? Right now, I don't think he'd be a. Too much saying that's my boy, but he's proud of me. Now, what does your girlfriend think about your obsession with My Little Pony? I'll ask her as soon as I find one. Not much girls uh, <laughs> that are free <laughs> out much. in the Wapaka, but I keep looking. So there are no girls and no apartments. Department. There's no apartment, there's no girls. <laughs> it's, it's a bleak life. <laughs> and I also heard that Howard Stern, for whatever reason, is a racist. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he truly is a racist. But if he is a racist, then why the heck does he have his little sidekick, Robin, on his radio show? You know, if he's a racist, then what the heck is he doing hanging out with a black woman like Robin, who's a sidekick, who, who laughs at everything he says and whatnot, and always has to be on his side and riding his dick? Or unless they're not really friends, it's just a business thing. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a racist. He's probably said you know certain racial things but whatever he's he's still an a-ho then lastly the whole dana plato situation we all know dana plato she was kimberly on uh different strokes well apparently she did an interview on the howard stern show this was back on uh, may 7th 1999 this was the day before she unfortunately passed away the next day on may 8th of 1999 at the age of 34 unfortunately but she was on the Howard Stern show and she was just doing an interview talking about her recovering as a alcoholic and drug addict and she's been sober for more than 10 years and whatnot. Then he has some callers, I guess, to talk to Dana, I guess, ask her questions or just, you know, talk to her about her getting through the whole recovery thing. But there were some people that were just easily judging her and just being so mean to Dana Plato, not buying it. Go ahead, ask your question of Dana. Hi, hi. Get this girl out of here. She's a has been. Oh, please. Come on. Well, she just needs to admit that she's an ex-druggie, yeah. ex-con, 
lesbian with mental health problems. Uh, so that's your impression of her? Yeah. Well, well she denies that she's a lesbian. I don't deny anything. She don't deny. She's trying to resurrect her career. Uh, well, what's wrong with that? Trying to make some money again. No, no, excuse There's me. There's nothing wrong with that if you're honest. I'm honest. I am a Come drug on. addict alcoholic. I am a recovering, always in recovering. Okay, right. I am a recovering al alcoholic. You're an alcoholic, alcoholic ex-con, lesbian with mental health problems. Have you ever done... Oh, do you know this for sure, sir? Absolutely not. Okay, then how can that's you make those accusations? Like. Yeah, really. That's a, that's a little tough, isn't it? Don't you think? Well, why is everybody so tough? What I am have a you very ever done tough. I, no, I am very, very honest about who I am, who I've been, who I will be, who I am now. Does Doesn't it... sound like it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to, to offend you, right. sir. Well, I'm really Todd, very sorry. Have a nice day. Todd and you have a problem, I think. Sheesh. Probably take that up really, off Really, Todd, I'm sorry if I've offended you at all. I will. Dana, yes. are, you still, are you still sleeping with the, that black guy that you were sleeping with, or...? Um, I, you, I don't even know you, what you're talking about, Were you about, even sir. sleeping could, with... Could, no, could you please explain that to me? What do you mean, Todd Bridges or uh, Gary, uh, Coleman. Gary Coleman? <laughs> well, that was a rumor for a long time that she was double-teaming the both of those. Oh, things. get out of here. That's oh. absurd. Yeah, go ahead. No, well, Julie, hi. You're on the air. Hi. Um, I just want to tell you that, first of all, everyone always calls in to insult the famous people who are on the show, and I, I totally think that's... I, don't, I think they just want to hear themselves speak. Dana, I think that you sound great, and I think that it's... It's fantastic that your feelings are good about yourself because I know somebody who actually was a star on um, about 15 years ago as a teenager. And so you support to... Dana and you? Excuse me. Thank you, you seem very you upset. You have touched her. You have touched her. You're crying. I, I see. This is the nice thing, really. Thank you so much. Oh wow. Thank you. You've really taken a lot of crap, haven't you? Oh yeah. I mean, I'll console you. Well, I think you sound fabulous. I, I, I don't you. understand why people are all attacking you. I don't either. I really don't, but if that's okay. It's you okay. might need to smoke a little weed. Hey. Well, you. you're on. Go, what do you want to say? I want to, I want to tell Dana, Dana, I'm also recovering, and I believe in you. I, think, you. I, I believe everything you've said. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. That's not a problem at all. An hour to she starts to cry, I'm sure you, you, you can console her. Well, I like that. She did start to cry again. Thank you. No onions in, in the studio. Huh? And you're really hurting, huh? I mean, you break out into tears so quickly. It hurts, Howard. I'm tired, I'm tired. You're tired. I'm just tired. But you're tired of the whole thing. I'm tired of defending my character everywhere I go. Did you ever consider suicide at one point? Oh, hell no. You never did. Never got that bad. I got a beautiful boy, no. Right, you would never do that. I'm Check out this photo of Dana Plato, Gary Coleman, and Ty Bridges. I love this photo of these three together. I like how Dana has her arm around Gary Coleman, like that's her little brother. And there's Ty Bridges with his bald head. Oh, I see. The picture was taken back in 97. I figure it was somewhere in the late 90s. So this was taken two years before Dana passed away. And I like this picture, too, where Dana kissing Gary on the cheek. Those good times right there. The sad Dana Platt and Gary Coleman are gone. This has been my rant. Like I said, I can't stand the mofo. He's an a-hole. He needs to get his ass together. Tell me your thoughts on Howard Stern himself. All right, see ya.